car. And so my friend is on the phone talking to me about how to build a building cheaper. And I'm looking at this lady who I don't even know if she's saved or not, driving a $235,000 car. So guess what? My, my imagination is trying to see how to build this building cheaper. And then on the other side, I see a lady who's probably not saved driving a $235,000 car. And it dawned on me like, wait a minute. I don't need to be imaging building this building out of cheaper materials. What I need to see is that God can provide all of my needs according to his riches and glory. Through Christ Jesus, I got a different image in my, in my mind after I saw this lady driving that car. So in other words, if this lady, this woman, who may or may not be saved, is driving a, not a, a $20,000 car, folks, a $30,000, $50,000 car, $100,000 car. She's driving a $235,000 car. If she could afford to buy that, my God don't have a money problem. He can't provide, you know, what is it that you're seeing today? See, this war that comes against our mind is trying to get us a different image. It's trying to get us to see that our God is not able to do what he says he's able to do. See, the enemy has, the only thing the enemy has to work with, listen, listen, listen. The only thing, the only thing the enemy has to work with is what's in you. And if we can get that in our minds today, that Satan has nothing at all to work with except what's in us, then we can conquer him every single time. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The thief only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Well, what, what is he doing? He's trying to come at us and change the way we see God. This is why religion, the spirit of religion is so dangerous. Because religion tries to give us a different image of God and his church. Let me ask you this question. Where did your image of church come from? Where did your, if I talk about church, if I mention the word church, do you see, do you see a white clad church with a steeple on top, with stained glass windows, a wooden pews, and a red carpet? I mean, with hymns? I mean, where did your image of church come from? Did it come from the Bible? Because you can't see in the Bible a church with a steeple on it. So where did the image come from? Where did this imagery of the garments, of some of the garments that people wear, where did that imagery come from? See, here's the thing. The enemy will use religion to change our image. And if he can change our image, he can keep us from receiving God's best for our life. The warfare against our imaginations is tremendous. But here's the thing. You have control over every image that you incubate. Everything that comes against you, you have control over that. You can receive it and meditate on it, incubate it, speak it forth, bring it forth. You, can, you have the ability to do that. Or you can say, wait a minute, That's not, that thought's not from God. That thought's not from the, from the word of God. And you have the ability to grab a hold of it and cast it down in Jesus' name. That's how God created you. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it good to know that we are fearfully and wonderfully made? Jesus said, I'll never leave you or forsake you even to the end of the age. We can win the battle every single time. We need to know how God created us. If you learn how God created you, then you'll start to marvel at the greatness of God and the goodness of God and the grace of God and all the word that he's given us so that we can participate and, and, and get into agreement with him. Jesus said, greater things than these shall you do because I go to the Father. Aren't you glad you're saved today? Aren't you glad that you can, you can now begin to see yourself as a person walking in authority? You know, you remember in the book of Joshua where God spoke to Joshua and he said that you should meditate in this word both day and night. You know the word meditate means to imagine? It means to think on or to ponder. And when you think on and ponder and imagine the word of God, you know what happens? It comes alive inside of you. Because God's word is life to those that find it and healing to all their flesh. This is so beautiful today. Paul said you can cast down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God and you can bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. This has been one fantastic day. I, I want to pray for you, so don't go anywhere. I'll be right back after this break.
you have a dream? Do you want to make a difference with your life? Do you want to change the world? I know you do. That's why you need the 1599 Geneva Bible to feed the reformer in you. This is the same Bible our forefathers brought with them to the new world. Now you can get this treasure for your donation of only $99 or more. Get equipped to change the world with the Geneva Bible. You need increase in your life. You need the Destination Increase Kit. With this kit, you'll get 10 hours of CD teaching that guarantees to put you on the road to increase. First up, you'll get Take Dominion in the Marketplace. In this CD series, Jonas offers you powerful teaching on what the Holy Spirit is saying about your authority in the marketplace. Are you living from paycheck to paycheck? Are you barely getting by? You need to get free from the bondage of world systems with Jonas's strategies for financial freedom. You need freedom from Pharaoh's financial system. With this kit, you'll also get no more empty pockets, so you won't have empty pockets anymore. You'll have more than enough when you discover keys and principles for victory over lack. Call now and you'll receive a free autographed copy of Jonas' hardbound book, Kingdom Living, How to Activate Your Spiritual Authority, for your donation of only $65 or more. You need to get in on the Kingdom Living Kit. The Kingdom Living Kit equips reformers like you to live in financial freedom. You'll get the 1599 Geneva Bible plus three CD series, including Take Dominion in the Marketplace, No More Empty Pockets, and Freedom from Pharaoh's Financial System. Act now and you'll get a free autographed copy of Jonas's hardbound Kingdom Living book. Learn how to take dominion with the Kingdom Living Kit. Check out the Voice Magazine holiday offer. The Voice is a Christian magazine that keeps you up to date on issues that impact you. You'll get a one-year subscription to The Voice magazine, plus a one-year subscription to give as a gift and a free autographed copy of Jonas's Kingdom Living book. Call now. Don't miss out on these Kingdom Living resource offers. While supplies last, call 800-943-6490 or visit JonasClark.com today. Well, welcome back. I'm glad you stayed with us. You know, um, Thomas Edison said one day, he said, imagination is more powerful than knowledge. You know, I believe that we learn how God made us, that God fashioned us in his own image. When we learn how we're made, then we won't have to resist God. We can work with God. We can submit ourselves to God, resist the devil, instead of resisting uh, instead of submitting to the enemy and resisting God. God created you a spirit, soul, and body. You have the ability to dream. You have the ability to envision. You have the ability to speak forth what you build inside your spirit. Let me pray for you right now before we close out today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you that you created us with, and fashioned us with the ability to imagine, the ability to dream, the ability to see God. And Father, we thank you that we can cast down every vain imagination that comes against our mind, that, that wars against us in Jesus' mighty name. And Father, I thank you that you said in your word that two, where two or more agree as touching anything they ask it to be given unto them. And Father, right now I plead the blood of Jesus over the minds of the people that are watching. And Father, I release your anointing and your blessing into their life. I thank you, God, that they were created for such a time as this. And Lord, we thank you that we hear good testimonies of your power and your grace and you're anointed upon their life. Thank you, God, for the authority that you've given us in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said amen and amen. God bless you. I love you. And I'll see you on the next broadcast. You can't stop yourself from seeing. Because that's how God created you. So in a sense, even though we're, even though I'm not talking about the fivefold ascension gifts of apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers, I am talking about the ability to see something in the future. So in a sense, you have a prophetic imagination. You have the ability to see the unseen, to see the